During Thanksgiving I 25M realized that 3 years ago I had s time with my GF's married cousin 29F, now I need to know who to talk to first. I met my GF Jesse 25F 3 years ago while we were both in college. I had just gotten out of rehab for a very serious cocaine addiction. She helped me stay clear of any drugs and has been the reason why I'm alive today. I truly feel that I owe her my life. This year we spent Thanksgiving at her grandparents' house along with her family. When we arrived I met some of her cousins and who one seemed familiar. This was Samantha who I thought I knew from around campus when she attended the same college as Jesse and I. She had moved out of state five years ago to live with her husband and was back for Thanksgiving now with her two kids. After the dinner, all of the younger cousins went outside to talk. It was myself, Jesse, Sam, her husband Ricky, and two more of their cousins. We all started to talk about music and the theme of music festivals came up. I talked about a music festival that I have been attending for the past six years. Sam and Ricky also went to that festival four years ago and Sam went with her friends the next year. It wasn't until they showed me pictures of when Sam went that I remembered where I knew her from. During the year that Sam went with her friends I happened to run into her with some friends. I had shoulder length hair, was pale, and probably weighed 150 pounds while being 6 apostrophe 2. I now have short hair, tanner skin, with tattoos and with about 50 pounds of muscle. I am unrecognizable now. A lot of my memories from those years are pretty bad. But what I do remember is that when we met up with her group of friends we all got really friendly. It was three girls and four of us. We had rented a suite for the weekend and decided to invite the girls over. Due to a mixture of sea cane, alcohol and MDMA I can't remember who had s time with who, but I think that I might have had s time with Sam and another one of my friends joined us, or I joined him. All I know is that myself and another guy had s time with Sam one night and my friends had s time with her the next night. The worst part is that during those days I never wore protection and I am sure that neither did my friend. I don't know if we finished inside her or not, but the possibility exists. Sam and her husband have been married for 5 years and have a 2 yo and a newborn. I am definitely going to inform Ricky about what happened, but my only concern is what will happen with Jesse. I can't bear the possibility of losing her, she has been what has kept me sober throughout all of these years. She has been the angel on my shoulder that has kept me out of trouble. Sam still has the same tattoo on her shoulder so I am 100% sure that it was her, and on one of her pictures from the festival I am in the background with my back to the camera talking to my friends. I pretty much have no evidence to support my claims and if I confront Sam alone she will just deny it. I am sure she doesn't even recognize me. What do I do? Who do I talk to? Should I even bother? Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1, I'd talk to your girlfriend before anyone else. Redditor 2, before you say a word to Ricky, you should talk to Jessie about it and ask what she thinks you should do. Then you should do that. Redditor 3, stay out of it. This isn't your confession, it's Samantha's. If I'm reading the dates right, you didn't do anything you need to apologize to your girlfriend about, and you're possibly going to wreck the lives of three people if you blab. Op answer, I would probably feel like s it if I just stayed quiet. Wouldn't you want to know if your wife hooked up with two random guys and let them see m inside her while you thought she was out with her friends? She put her husband at risk of any STDs. Thankfully I am clean and had already finished before my friend went in, but I don't know if he was clean. Update during Thanksgiving I 25M realized that 3 years ago I had s time with my GF's married cousin 29F, now I need to know who to talk to first. 3 years ago, during the peak of my drug habit, I had an unprotected MFMT resum with my GF's whom I wasn't dating at the time married cousin. During Thanksgiving with my GF I encountered her cousin and realized that she was the woman in the encounter. She doesn't recognize me, but I know it's her. She has been married for 5 years and has a 2 yo and a newborn. Although I only got a few responses, I was surprised at the fact that 50% of the commenters said to just keep it a secret. Personally I kind of have morals so I decided that I was going to tell Jesse then tell Rick. I had someone say that the times aligned with the chance that the oldest child could be mine since my friend and I didn't use protection when we had s time with Sam, but genetically the baby doesn't look like me and my friend is black. 
During early December I got in contact with said friend and explained the situation. I asked him about that night, he wasn't able to remember much, but does remember that we didn't use a scene dim with Sam and that we both finished inside her. I was still thinking on how to approach Jesse about this when later that night Joe called me back telling me that he had some pictures from the festival weekend. There were two pics where you could see both Sam and I. One was me in the sweet bathroom wiping blood from my nose and Sam was behind standing near me. The second picture was Sam sitting on the lap of the third guy she slept with on the second day. There were a few more picture of Sam and her friends. I got everything I had and called Jesse over the next day. I set her down and told her everything as best as I could remember. She was devastated when I showed her the pictures. She was angry at me, but decided that she just needed some time to think. I gave her some time and explained to her that I wanted to be as honest as possible with her. I told her that I am forever thankful for her help during my rehab and recovery. That I wanted to tell her about this because I see a future with her and I could not hide something like this from her. I couldn't risk it coming out in the open later when we are more committed. I informed her that I was planning on telling Rick and she was adamant about keeping that a secret. I asked her that if she was in his shoes how would she feel? She agreed, but said to give her some space to think. We didn't talk much for a week and on Christmas we met up with her family. Sam and Rick attended Christmas with Rick's family so they could not attend. Sam and Rick came back for New Year's and that is when I decided to confront them. Jesse and I had a long talk about how I would do this. She wanted to do it anonymously, but I told her that it wouldn't work. I told her that I would invite Rick to a bar on Sunday to watch some football. That Sunday Rick and I went to the bar and I waited until the end of the game to talk about it. I asked him if we could go to my apartment to talk about something serious. He had a weird look on his face, but agreed. But when we arrived at my place I told him about my past. I then told him everything about the encounter I had with Sam. I showed him the pictures and gave him all of the information I had. Rick's face went pale when I told him that both my friend and I finished inside her. I could see his hands shaking. He asked how many other people did she sleep with and I told him that as far as I knew there were only myself and the other two. I asked him if she was on birth control at the time, because if not that there might be a possibility that she might have gotten pregnant that week. He couldn't remember if she was at the time, but a few weeks later she was pregnant. That is when he said he had enough and just got up and left. Five minutes later he texted me asking for the pictures. I sent them to him and told him that out of respect I had to tell him and that he needed to know about the health risk that Sam had put him in. But Sam and the kids were staying at Jesse's apartment. Jesse told me that when Rick arrived he just told Sam to pack their things and that they were leaving. Sam didn't want to leave and asked why he was angry, but Rick just said that they would talk when they got home. Sam was not having any of it and demanded to know why. They began to argue and Jesse took the kids into her bedroom. A couple minutes later Sam and Rick came into Jesse's bedroom for the kids and they told her that they were leaving. Sam was crying and Rick was very upset, Jesse asked what was happening. Rick told Sam to put their stuff in the car while he explained. Rick went over the whole situation and Jesse corroborated the story I had told her. A few days later Rick called me to talk about everything. He had been in a rut and moved into an apartment while he set up an appointment with a lawyer. After getting home from the trip Rick grilled into Sam about everything that happened. She started to confess, but only little by little. She had apparently had another affair a year ago while on a trip with some friends. Rick had sent for a paternity test for his oldest kid, but after a few days he sent another for his youngest. A week ago he posted on Facebook that he and Sam were getting a divorce and that he is not the father of the youngest kid. Jesse's grandma really dislikes me now for ruining Sam's marriage since she is old school Catholic and doesn't believe in divorce. Jesse and I have been working on ourselves and have been going to couples counseling to deal with this. It has been a bit rough over the past two months, but I feel good about my actions and I hope Jesse can understand. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, you did good, man. Real proud of you. Not many would have the guts to do the right thing. And as far as Jesse's grandma is concerned, if she acts up, ask her next time if she believes in vows of fidelity. Redditor follow up, I think this should be this sub's new response to this kind of blanket religious statement people make about not believing in divorce. 
Redditor 2, Sam ruined her own marriage, all you did was be honest. Grandma needs a reality check, and also to read her Bible more carefully because altery is explicitly named as grounds for divorce in there. Redditor follow up, I will never understand that thought process. Don't blame the person who broke the vow of fidelity, don't even blame the spouse that is seeking the divorce, I'll blame the one person in this situation that you could argue has any integrity. If only they were a liar as well, none of this would have happened. Redditor 3, he is not the father of the youngest kid. Oh man. That hits like a ton of cheating bricks. I feel for Rick. Sam has ruined a bunch of lives. Op answer, yeah, that was what got to me the most. The time that I had spent with Rick showed me that he is such a nice guy. He truly didn't deserve any of this. Redditor 4, that poor guy. Those poor kids. You did the right thing. Obviously this wasn't a one-time mistake but a horrible pattern. Redditor 5, you did the right thing and I hope things work out for you and Jesse. Good luck with your continuing recovery. Redditor 6, what you did took courage, conviction and fortitude. You risked and still risk your own relationship and stuck to your ethics. What you believed in your heart to be the right course of action. I wouldn't have told because of the fear of the fallout. You are a better man than one and one would trust you with my car keys sir. Redditor follow up, also just the guts to actually have that conversation with Rick. Like, that's a dude you've met what, twice? And you're going to sit down face to face with him and tell him you fucked his wife? No matter the extenuating circumstances, it was entirely possible for Rick to react stupidly irrationally, you never know how people will deal with a shock like this. Definitely took courage, conviction and fortitude. Redditor 7, Jesse's grandma really dislikes me now for ruining Sam's marriage since she is old school Catholic and doesn't believe in divorce. You probably already know this, but I want to reaffirm the fact. You did not ruin their marriage, she did by cheating on her husband with multiple people. I'm glad you are working things out with your so. Redditor 8, your story really hit me, and I read so many on here every day. You really did the right thing. I'm proud of you. Good luck with your girlfriend. I just wanted to say that I've been sober for 5 years now and noticed in your last post you said your girlfriend is the only thing that has kept you sober. I wanted to encourage you to get on a different track with that, to be honest. Not everything in the world is for sure as I'm sure you know and having support such as a 12-step program can be really beneficial. People don't keep me sober, my willingness to look at myself, be honest, and rely on something other than me keeps me sober. Anyway, like I said, I'm proud of you man. Op answer, thanks man. Jesse has been a catalyst for my sobriety, but I realize that at this point the pushing force is coming from myself. She helped find a path for me to go on my own. If we were to break up I know that I would still be sober because of all the hard work I have put in. Thanks for the advice.